Good evening, Sahanya. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall we begin with the class? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so today we are going to discuss the electric current and its effect. Hmm? Your meter is completed. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, so our next topic is that is electric current and its effects. It is audible, no? Clearly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here in this chapter we are going to deal with uh, what is electric circuit. So in the chapter they are saying that already the electric current part you have studied in the class sixth. Yeah. So do you remember what all points you have discussed in that class? Oh the uh, yeah, they had uh, told how the current passes through wires. Okay. And uh, how much, uh, what kind of uh, metals and non-metals can handle a uh, heat pressure? Mm -hmm. mm, and uh, again, Ohm's law, anything like that you have studied? No. So, uh, mm. then you have any idea what do you mean by current? Yeah, something like... Uh, uh, which uh, gives you light which or what you... energy passes through to give light okay so here this current actually basically how we define what you are saying that is actually the effect of current okay like uh, okay. we are getting the light here we are getting the heat here so these we can say the effect of the current when the current is flowing through the given circuit these are the effect what we can see that is either it may be in the form of light energy or it may be in the form of the heat energy. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So now here, uh, nowadays we are so much addicted for this electric current. We cannot imagine our life without the electric current, correct? Yeah. Yes. So for example, uh, for where during daytime, we are not uh, requiring this yeah. whatever the light we are using, but uh, because the daytime we are using the sunlight, but yeah. uh, especially during the nighttime we require, that is the first requirement, light. Then the secondary requirement, that is the main thing, either it may be the fan or the AC, what we are using. Yeah. So nowadays, as we can see that the actually we should get the rainy season, but it is not proper. So we are totally depending on this fan or AC all the 12 months, right? Yeah. So we cannot imagine our life without electricity. Also, this is one part like light we are using, fan, AC we are using. Yeah. Again, in the kitchen, especially in the kitchen, most of the women are depending on the electricity. Like we are using the mixers, we are using yeah. any other electronic gadgets. So many electronic gadgets are there. So when you come for the entertainment part, so in entertainment part, we are using the TV, we are using the computers, or yeah. it may be a laptop, or it may be especially many people are depending completely on this part, that is the mobile or the cell phone. Yeah. So we cannot imagine our life without these all points. So yeah. this directly depending on the, so I'll not say it as indirectly, it is directly depending on the electric current. Yeah. Yes. So here, whatever the electric current is there, this is the basic part of our life now. Okay. Yes. So yeah. here, so how we can define this electric current and they're saying that you have studied in the last year what is the yeah. source of the electric current? Do you remember like, any source? Like last year I was in a different school. So like they didn't go at much. So they just had like basic okay. information. Okay. So now you have any idea how the electric current can be generated? Uh, I think uh, they get it from the water or yes, sunlight. That is part of the huh, hydro powers are there. Hydroelectric current we can say. Or solar, solar is the source that is nothing but the sun. Yeah. So here actually electric current, it is a form of the energy. It is the form of the energy. So yeah. we have one statement in physics that is the conservation of energy. Do you know what is the definition of conservation of energy? Uh, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, when uh, I think uh, I forgot. Actually, here the conservation of energy means energy neither be created nor be destroyed, but can be transferred from one form to other form, one form to another form. Means, for example, as I told you, this electricity, it is a form of energy. So electricity yeah. it is a form of energy. So how this electricity is generated? The electricity is generated either it may be generated through water or it may be generated through the sun or it may be a nuclear effect. 
so many sources are there wind is there then next uh, we have the tides by that also we can generate the electricity so many different different sources are there the are there here we are not creating actually the electric current we are just what we are doing here we are transforming we are transforming energy yes one form of energy to other form of energy okay. one form to other form so one form to other form so it may be from the sun to the electricity water to the electricity so here just conversion of one form to the other form we are doing we none of the energies can be created or destroyed completely suppose now if you are using the electric current also actually what we say that we are we feel that we are wasting the current actually yeah. here what is happening here the conversion of energy is taking place so that is what current if you are using it for the light again the light is a source of energy yeah for the form of the energy so again so this is what again from conversion so actually suppose if you are getting it from the hydro like water so this is first energy source energy form then it is converted to the next energy form next it is converted to the light then it may be giving you the heat effect also like this so here it is just conversion of one form of energy to other form of the energy we are not creating energy we are not destroying the energy we are just converting from one form to the other form correct yeah yeah correct uh, so here you may get a question but you are creating energy that is current by the water okay yeah. but here the water is also a kind of energy how here actually how the electricity is generated by water here the water is stored in the dam so in the dams we will store the water so maybe nearby you krs is there in my krs you don't know what like i can the source of energy water is stored in the dams yeah ha uh, so the dam whatever the stored energy is there this it is called as the potential energy you heard of this word no okay so here just i am telling you here no, you are not creating energy you are just transforming the energy that example i am giving you okay okay so whatever the stored energy the uh, stored water is there it is also possessing some energy that is the potential energy when this from the dam the water falls so when the water falls this the moving water is having the kinetic energy so again this is a form of energy this energy falls on the turbines so when this energy falls on the turbines energy means water is falling on the turbine so this mm -hmm. will rotate so this will generate the electricity but how does it uh, like exactly will it be connected yes yes it is connected okay okay so here what they will do if you see wherever nearby you uh, wherever the electricity power station is there there you can check this one so mm -hmm. the water is stored in the dam later it was falling in the form of this like this but people will... tell that if you like uh, like if you uh, put water to electricity it will burn it will burn it will burn but here actually when the water is falling on this uh, turbine here later it is connected to motors directly the water is not falling on the electricity okay getting so yeah. uh, if you want next uh, time i'll show you that uh, block diagram of this whatever the phenomena i am explaining you okay 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 so the meaning of this uh, whatever the summary we discussed that is nothing but what we are not creating here we are just converting one form of energy to other form of energy okay, okay. is yes. the dam so, water uh, distilled uh, no 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 it is not a distilled water okay it is just regular water okay the next we have the next first we will define what is electric current then we will proceed with the next point in your chapter yeah so this electric current is defined as the rate of flow of charge the electricity or the electric current is defined as rate of rate flow of, of flow of charge charge okay. okay so here the charge is denoted by the letter q how you denote a force as e of energy as e same way the charge is denoted as q okay 
so when you say that rate of flow of n charge that is nothing but the charge is moving with respect to time yeah okay for example i'll give you one hour time so in this one hour time how much charge is flowing through the given conductor this is called as what electric current electric okay okay so the simple definition for your standard we can say it like uh, actually the rate of change this is little bit higher class words so for your class you can just say that the ratio of charge per unit time per? ratio ratio of charge per unit time so this is called as what electric, electric current okay now this electric current is uh, denoted by the letter i okay which is equal to according to this definition ratio we need to take so that is q divided by t so this we can say it like formula mm -hmm. so this is a formula for your electric current mm -hmm. so i is current q is charge t is time yeah okay clear now this point is clear yes yes so you can define current now that is the ratio of charge per unit time is called as what that is the electric mm -hmm. current mm -hmm. current anything you can say or electricity also you can say yeah okay now here we have in your textbook they have given one picture that is the first figure they are giving in that first figure here i'll yeah. show you that uh, electric cell oh, that one you can see this one yeah yes so here what is the difference in the first and the second circuit the first in the, ah. in the first one bulb is on or off on uh, off yes in the second one it's on yes you can see the down part so in the down part here i'll show you in this part yeah, you can that's the open circuit part. yes so this is the open circuit this is the closed circuit oh okay correct Okay. okay, so yes. here when the circuit, it is like a switch. So whatever the regular switch you are observing in your home, it is like a switch. Okay. Okay, yeah. so that is open circuit, closed circuit. It is nothing but like a switch here. So, so even uh, if the thing is on, will uh, it be open, uh, sorry, closed circuit? Ha. Uh, if it is on, it means that it is closed. If it is off, then it means that it is open circuit. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes. The idea is clear to you. The open circuit and the closed circuit meaning. Yeah. So before that, we need to understand what do you mean by the circuit. Yeah. So what do you mean by circuit here? So the circuit is nothing but so in the first figure. Yes. So here the circuit is nothing but it is something a closed path. So whenever the electric current is flowing, whenever the electric current is flowing. It requires some closed path for that. Then only the electric current will be there in the given circuit. Yeah. So the closed path, so the closed path for the flow of electric current is called as what circuit? Yeah. So why it is called as the closed path here? Because whatever the uh, uh, switch you are seeing, if the switch is closed, then the flow of the current will be there. Therefore, it is called as the closed path. Yeah. Okay, so the circuit definition is clear to you? Yes, ma'am. So we have discussed two points, means according to your book, mainly two points we, are, we have discussed. That is the electric current. Current is defined as charge per unit time. Then the second point is what? Circuit. Circuit is nothing but what? The closed path for the flow of the electric current. Yeah. Yes. Now in the circuit, we have the two categories. That is the open circuit and the closed circuit. Yeah. So open circuit, here you can see the example, the first figure. Yes, like, yeah. And the closed circuit, the second one is the example. Yes. Closed. Okay. So now this is in your day-to-day -day life, you observe this. But here, practically, in your school, they are doing any practicals? Uh, like, how? Like... Means uh, they are showing this, how the closed circuit, open circuits are there. Yeah, they do. You have seen this instrument? Yeah, like, uh, no, they still not started this lesson. They are not started, okay, okay. 
so here whatever this apparatus you are observing this is called as the plug key it is called as the plug key right here so this device is called as the plug key plug key okay ha ah, so actually in your home whatever the instrument you are observing the closed path or the open path that is the regular switch this one yeah but practically when you are performing the experiment that time we have this setup Okay. okay so this acts like a key now key okay ha ah, so what is the difference between the both the figures there is two keys here and there is only one key so therefore yeah. this whatever the single key you are observing uh, this first i'll explain you this two keys what you are observing this is called as two ways plug key so this one is called as two way plug key and this is one way plug key so how you are going to use this one so whatever you are observing the key part means this black color you are observing no here this yeah. one and this one so whatever this is there actually if it is outside then this is called as the open circuit okay when you put this key this black color key in this gap can you see here gap yeah Yes, the two holes are there here. Two holes are there here. Yeah. This single key, one hole is there. So yeah. easily you can insert or you can keep this in this hole. Then the circuit is said to be a closed circuit. Okay. So first, what you observe, this is an open circuit. Here the plug keys are open. Okay, so this is plug key is open. When you put this key into this hole, so you put it inside the hole. Hello. Hello. Closed path, okay. Yeah. Hello. Huh? Ah, Sanya. Yeah. Ah, okay. You are able to see, no? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, so what? That is in this first figure. Whatever this part you are observing, yeah, this is nothing but the plug key. What I showed you, yeah, means in this part they are keeping those plug keys. Okay, understanding. So when you go for the practical, that time you will understand this. Here actually they will take that plug key. What I showed you, know that plug key they are using. Okay. that plug key uh, the uh, here you can see the knobs at the ends this one you yeah. just see the okay, here one knob is there here one knob is there should you turn it are able to see no yeah so whatever the knob ha yes you can turn this one you can rotate this it is it is like a screw okay okay you can make it loose you can keep a wire in this then you can connect it to the battery you can connect it to the battery yeah and one side you can connect it to the uh, that is bulb or whatever the electronic instrument yeah. you are using okay the battery's other end you are connecting to the bulb again so when you keep it this condition it is a open circuit your bulb will not glow when you put this black color key into this hole the bulb will glow okay so that is called as the closed circuit yeah okay yes now the clear clear idea you have what is open circuit what is closed circuit yeah what is plug key yeah then you have the switch electric bulb at least you know already yeah 
yes here in your textbook they are giving one more point that is the cell and the battery here you can see this i think cell uh, can you tell me the first one cell where all you can use what are the uses of this cell uh, mouse like the like computer mouse mm -hmm. tv remotes yes the the uh, video not video games but yeah video games yes. while remote ha huh. and uh, in the wall, watch clock that is uh, on walls what yeah, we have walls yeah Ah, so that there we can use or any toys, their electronic toys. Yeah. Okay. So there also we can use this, right? Yeah. Yes. So this is nothing but the cell and the battery. So this electric cell or the battery, what is the use of this? Any idea is there? Uh, like it helps the, it gives current and it helps the object. Yes. Ha, it gives current in the sense it is like the source of the electrical energy you can say oh. yes, for example in our day to day life whatever activities we are doing what is the source for our body energy uh, that is food yes whatever the food we are using yeah. same way yes same way whatever the electricity or the electric current is there here the current for example if you hold just one wire or a, any metal piece in your hand the current will be passing through that yeah you are just holding one wire it is not connected anywhere okay. you will get shock or no yeah just with a single wire are you sure yeah because if we have single wire it won't work ha huh, that only so here wire. Uh, when the that wire is connected to like switchboard or any electronic gadget, then you will get a shock. Yeah. Yes. So here, single wire or any metal piece, it is not a conductor. When some external source is provided for that, that will pass the electricity. So that external source is nothing but cell or the batteries. Okay understanding so for example you are writing or you are running whatever work you are doing what is the source here that is the source is whatever the food you are having yeah. same way for a conductor or for a metal or for any wire to pass the electricity it requires the source that source is nothing but the cell or the battery we can say okay so here we can connect a single cell also we can connect two cells also it depends whatever the work you are doing based on that we can use the number of cells yeah, okay number of cells so hope so the cell and the battery concept is clear to you yes okay so in your textbook if you have the textbook there you can see that they are explaining about the cell and the battery yeah. then next they have the bulb so bulb at least you know it is an electronic appliances which blows when the electricity flows through it so like is the uh, can't cell be called as battery you can say it you can say it as a battery also no problem because like from a small kid i used to call those things. Uh, yes some will call it a cell some will call it as battery yeah uh, usually in home whatever we are using that uh, usually we call it as cell but whatever the <laughs> physics experiments and all we are doing there we are using the batteries okay Okay, so so actually here again, if you see in the depth, so cell it is actually the primary uh, object and the sec battery it is a secondary source of energy. Okay. Okay, I think in the next year you may have that kind of uh, concept. Okay. So now you just uh, remember uh, what is the cell or the battery, then electric bulb, you know, switch that is nothing but the plug key what I shown you. Yeah. The next connecting wires. So the connecting wires, that is nothing but the various components to yeah. form the circuit you are using that the wires. Yeah. Okay. Then the circuit diagram they are showing in your book. So the circuit diagram is. Like bulb. Yeah. Ah, so that is only first one what we have seen no that is actually uh, practically we say that but uh, symbolically how we can denote the physics circuits so this is the battery symbol here we can show the bulb then the switch 
then here the wire will be there so okay. let us make it dot so this is the closed path this is the closed circuit suppose if you keep it like this Small bit, small bit. That is like the open. This is open. Yes, this is open circuit. This is closed circuit. So batteries and all we denote it like this. Bigger line, smaller line. Bigger line, smaller line. So this smaller line indicates it is a negative terminal. Bigger line indicates it is a positive, positive. terminal. Okay. And this is the symbol for the bulb we are using, denoting. This is the switch or the plug key. What we say. Then here this is nothing but the connecting. Wires we have. We put battery for cars also, right? Yes, yes. We are using no in generators. But, it will be there. Yeah, Actually, but, ah, see uh, that only I was telling you. Whatever the cells means the uh, first part. This one. Whatever the cell you are using, no, it is like use and throw. Means once yeah. the chemical properties are gone from this, you are not going to use, you reuse it. But batteries and all, we can charge it again. We can charge it and again we can do the reuse here. Okay, like so, but the batteries uh, are very big, right? Yes, that is very big. So again, actually, different different categories are also there in the battery. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So cell, uh, how it is? It is like uh, once the chemical properties are gone, then we are not going to use it. But yeah. batteries, uh, there are some batteries. They are also having the same like uh, use and throw. There are some batteries which we can recharge also, and we can use it again. Yeah, and there are some batteries in which we can use the different chemicals by changing that. Also, we can use it like that. So different different categories are there. So you don't have much depth in that concept. Okay. Okay. I think so. Now you have the textbook is with you. You yeah. can see the one eighty two page. The some of the circuit symbols they are showing there. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is yes. Yes, elect electric cell we discussed. Combination of cells means just two cells are there. Electric switch open, close. Open, switch, close. Electric bulb. Then the fuse they are showing. See. But and the I have a bulb. doubt here. Yes. Uh, you had uh, shown the um, electric switch open. Mm -hmm. Here the uh, thing is called on. That time it should be closed, right? Means that uh, circuit component second uh, figure no actually I don't know you have seen or no in some houses sir uh, that on and off both side they are using nowadays yeah uh, switch bolts have come I mean so, uh, usually earlier days how it is if it is down it is on if it is up then it is off like that we used to think but nowadays both the side we can use it you know that okay. So uh, it is just a modified version. It's nothing like that. Usually we earlier days we used to do that, but now the new switch bolts what we are using now it is both yeah, the sides. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Ah, so like that it is. Okay. Okay, then uh, we will go for the next part that is the heating effect of electric current. So very simple concept. Heating effect is nothing but what. For example, suppose uh, you are using the fan. Or the electric bulb, you just keep yeah. it on for the more than five hours, six hours means whole night if you keep it on. Yeah. In morning you go and check it, or if you just just touch that bulb or the uh, what tube lights or the yeah. fan motors, it will be hot. Yeah. So that is nothing but what by the electric current you are getting the heat effect. That is nothing but the heating effect of electric current. Oh yeah. Or for example, the torch what we are using. Or the mixers, what we use, any electronic gadgets you take, if you use it continuously, for example, mobiles also sometimes it will be hot. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so that is nothing but what the heating effect of electric current we can say. Yeah, after whatever the mobile becomes very Yes, it will be hot, right? So here, here what happens that is uh, whatever the electric circuits are there, it consists of a coiled filament. You can yeah. see in your uh, book that is uh, 13.4 figure and 13.3 also you can see one filament they are using there. That yeah. is the bulb. Huh? So you know which is that filament is made up of? 
No, no, uh, it's made up of. I don't know. They are using one metal. That metal is called as that is tungsten. It is called as the tungsten. Okay. T U N. If you want spelling, it is T U N G S T E N. Tungsten. Okay. It is an alloy, huh? I am. I think so. It is an alloy or metal. I need to confirm this. So why there? See, I. Uh, you do you know how many metals or the non? I mean, in the periodic table, how many elements are there? One hundred and eighteen. Yes. So out of that one hundred and eighteen, why are they are using this tungsten only? Any idea? Um, is so it for like counting the natural elements? Ah uh, no. Here actually, here whichever the element you are using in the bulb. So yeah. here, what happens? If you keep it on for one hour also or for two hours also, it will be hot. Yeah. So suppose this is becoming hot. Whatever the inside filament you are using, because of the hotness, it will melt. Okay. So automatically after one hour, two hour, we need to change the bulb, right? Yeah. So to avoid this, they are using the tungsten here. The tungsten is such an element that it is having the high melting point. It is having the high melting point. I think so. Melting point you have studied. Yeah, the melting point. Yes, boiling point, melting yeah. point. So because of that high melting point, so if you keep it on for one hour, two hour, three hours also, it will not burn or it will not melt. So we can use it for the longer time. Okay. That is the reason why we are using the tungsten in the electronic bulbs. Okay. Okay. So this is the one reason the tungsten will not burn, that is will not burn because of the high melting point, and in absence of the oxygen inside the chamber. Here, what happens? Whatever the filament here uh, in that thirteen point three figure. Yeah. Uh, or else we can take this first figure also what we have. So here also you can see this. So here two reasons are there. One is here the bulb is on means the heat will be created to avoid that high melting point element we require. Second reason when uh, the tungsten is inside it is covered with a glass. Okay. So this is covered with a glass means inside this oxygen will be there or no? Yeah, there is. There is no oxygen, right? No. Oxygen. If there is no oxygen also here, whatever the element is there, in that case it will affect the element also. But tungsten is such an element that because of the absence of the oxygen, there is no effect on this. Okay, so. Why we are using the tungsten? Because of two reasons. One is high melting point is there, and second one is in the absence of the oxygen. Here, what happens? The metal will not burn easily. But because of these two reasons, after some time, the bulb will look little bit hot. Look in the sense, if you touch it, you feel the hotness of the bulb. Okay. Okay. So this is called as what heating effect of electric current. So, can you give any example or the instruments where the electricity is converted in the form of the heating effect? So, this is one which I told you that is the bulb. It's it, electric. Electric. Yeah, it's it's electric, right? Okay. So, will can it be the thermos flask? Thermos flask, the thermos flask, but when it is connected to the circuit. Oh wait, I have another one. Uh, this uh, electric iron. Ah, uh, so electric iron is there. Means if you pass the electricity through that here, whatever the uh, electric iron is there, it will become hot, and yes. you can use it for the ironing purpose. Even Second the electric one, water heater. Yes, electric water heaters. So if you take the electric water heater, if you dip it in the water, here what happens? The water will become hot. Later we can use it for the different different purposes. Okay. Okay. So here, uh, the electric, the heating effect of electric current, it is used in the several uh, elect, uh, that is the instruments or the appliances like uh, electric iron, electric water heater, toaster is there, electric kettles are there, 
correct yeah yeah correct so these are all the effect of the heating effect of electric current means only not the electricity is useful whatever its effect is there like the heat effect that is also used for the different different purposes right yeah so here in case of the electric iron or electric water heater we are using nichrome so nichrome we are using so nichrome whether it is a metal non metal or a alloy okay what it is oh uh, it is in the alloy right what i told you that is uh, in the bulb we are using the tungsten but whatever the appliances are there like toaster kettles then uh, coil in that we are using the nichrome nichrome is a metal non metal or a alloy It is an alloy. It is an alloy. Okay, so it is an alloy where eighty percent of nickel is there and twenty percent of chromium is there. Okay. 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 So why again there is a the question why they are using the nichrome only because of the high resistance to electric current. So here high resistance and high temperature it can bear. So for that reason we are using the nichrome. Nichrome. Okay. Yes, is it clear? Yeah. So we yeah. have other some alloys also like a magnesium is there, constantine is there, but mainly in this we are using the nichrome only. Ah, uh, in physics labs we have uh, like meter, bridge, potentiometer, some other appliances are there where we are using the alloys like magnesium, constantine. Those alloys we are using. Okay. Okay. Yes. Any doubt is there, Sahanya, up to this part? So electric current, electric circuit. electric components no. No. heating effect no okay so the next part that is the electric fuse the principle of electric fuse it is there and this how this electric uh, current is giving you the magnetic effect okay, okay. so uh, uh, now now that part can we complete in the next part because only last one more part is remaining so that we can do it in the one more class okay so So this topic is there for your next upcoming any exams? Uh, we have midterms on. Uh, the no, midterm is not yet completed. Huh? Midterm is not yet completed. No, like our term one has finished. Midterm okay. is not finished. So. And uh, how the portion is that is uh, for the last final exam? You have the full portion or it is uh, semester wise? I actually don't know. Like we have ME is month and assessments for every month we'll be having, hmm. but uh, November's ME is like uh, kind of cancelled. That's why for midterm we'll be having only the term one portions and. Mm -hmm. Okay, term one and term two it is different only, no? Yeah, term oh. one is uh, like pre midterm. Mm hmm. Term two is post midterm then annual. Okay. Okay. uh then uh, whatever the lessons you have we need to complete all the lessons i think 18 are there no what you have sent the index yeah i'll, I'll just check a uh, check 18 are there i think so yeah total we have 18 so 18 we myself and richa ma'am have to complete all the 18 topics from science yeah but actually uh, like three of them are deleted Three or five. Okay, can you tell me what are uh, what are the three topics? Ah, uh, that is climate and adaptation. Okay. Soil. Soil. And uh, for annual, we ah uh, this time and motion is deleted. Time. No oh, time and motion. Sorry, like heat and temperature. Ah, huh, because time and motion we have completed, no? Yeah. Ah. Huh. So heat and temperature is deleted. Yeah. Okay. Out of eighteen, except these three topics, we need to cover the remaining syllabus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because uh, we need to plan accordingly, no? So I asked you. Okay. We will see. If possible, this week. Ah, uh, you are available, no? This week. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Or you are going any out of holidays. You are you are getting holidays only. Okay, this lesson we will try to complete in this week itself. Okay. Okay. So Thursday or Friday, I'll let you know. I'll take one more class. Okay. Okay. So this lesson we can finish it. 
uh, I think from my side, three topics will get over by this. Okay. Myself and sir, actually, we both shared it. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you know. Okay, for Thursday or Friday, we will take one more class. Yeah. Okay. So yes. So today we will uh, complete this here only. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Thank you.